Okay, now here we have a useful feature offered by Samsung on its mid-range devices and this feature is not really made available on Samsung's flagship phones. Let's go ahead and take a look at that feature in this video. Now here we have got Samsung A52 4G variant. What I'm going to do is I will open the settings here. Let me just go to battery and device care. As you can see here, we've got battery, storage, memory, device protection, and then we have got ultra data saving option as well. Now, if you look at the same on this Note 20 Ultra or any of the Samsung flagships, you will not get this feature here. As you can see, you get only battery, storage, memory, and device protection. If you are a Samsung flagship phone user, then you will be surprised to see this particular feature on Samsung's mid-range device. Now let me show you what exactly is this feature all about. Let's tap on ultra data saving mode. Here as you can see we have got a toggle or a switch to turn it on or off. We've got some representation of the data used. As you can see we have used and saved data. And you can also tap on detail to see more information. Below this you can see data compression. And then we've got limited background data. Background data apps is showing 94. So we've got 94 apps which uses the background data here. Now let me just tap on this toggle here. This is what it says, ultra data saving mode. Background data will be automatically blocked for all the applications by default, but you can allow specific applications to use it. It also compresses the data using Samsung Max. By now you would have understood what exactly this feature does. When you enable this feature, it is gonna save the data by restricting the data transmission to all those applications running in the background. The data will be automatically blocked for all those apps. However, we get an option to choose or allow specific applications to use the data. And in this mode, the data will also be compressed by using Samsung Max feature, which in turn results in lesser data consumption. So if you are on a mobile data and if you're traveling somewhere, probably abroad and when you're on roaming, you might want to save the data, isn't it? So this feature will help us do exactly that. Let's go ahead and enable this. Now, as you can see, we've got data compression on. It is showing background data apps zero. That means none of the apps have got access to the data in the background. Only if you're using the application, the data will be transmitted. Here we've got six options. You can just tap on this plus button to add a particular application, which can use the mobile data in the background. As you can see, it says mobile data will be saved by restricting the usage of background data for apps add up to six applications which can use mobile data while running in the background. So here we can add six applications which will get access to data in the background. This is definitely a cool feature which would be useful for a lot of people across the globe. Maybe the flagship users would feel that, you know, this is not really required. But yeah, there will be a lot of you guys who might want to have it even on a flagship device. But unfortunately, we don't have this feature on the flagships. Okay, now this doesn't mean we don't have a data saver option on flagships. If you go to settings, then connections, we have data usage option here. Under this, we have got data saver. Now this says data saver helps cut down your data usage by preventing apps from using data in the background. And we also have an option to allow the applications to use the data in the background. As you can see here, you can switch on the toggles for some of the applications or all of the applications to which you want to give the data access in the background. But here we don't have this data compression feature on these flagships. That is something which is available on Samsung's mid-range phones. And Samsung uses something called Samsung Max feature to compress the data here. And we also get to see how much of data is being saved using this feature here. Now let me know what do you think about this feature on the Samsung mid-range phones. Do you really want it on your flagship phones as well? Let me know in the comment section below. That's all I want to share in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.